Congratulations. Thank you very much, Senator Graham. Uh, I will be spending a little time with uh, Judge Barrett uh, today. We'll meet again, I'm sure. And the bottom line is I want to compliment the President for nominating Judge Barrett. I want to compliment you for living such a stellar life in the law and otherwise. I think you're one of the most qualified people who will ever be nominated to the Supreme Court. You just uh, knocked it out of the park as a law professor, as a lawyer, and I think you're just an outstanding judge <coughs> ready for the promotion. The question for the country is, is this ready, this uh, uh, lady ready to be promoted? I think the answer is yes. I think she's done everything anybody could hope uh, a nominee for the Supreme Court would do in their life. You've lived an incredibly uh, eventful life. Uh, you're uh, really good at everything you've chosen to do, from being a law professor to a law clerk to being a judge at the circuit level. So I think you're well prepared. And I think the American people are going to see over the coming days someone who is very capable of understanding the difference between personal beliefs, whatever they may have. We all have personal beliefs and that of being a judge. And uh, I think America is lucky to have you to be nominated. So thank you. Thank you, Chairman. Senator Graham, if Judge Barrett is confirmed, should she recuse herself from any cases involving the election that involve the man who just appointed her? I think that is one of the most absurd ideas I've ever heard. <clears throat> there is no legal disqualification. Uh, she doesn't have a legal conflict. You know, she doesn't decide the election, so she gets to vote like everybody else, but no. That's a ridiculous idea that she can't hear election claims because she was nominated in an election year. Okay. Do you worry that your role in this process is hurting your re-election bid? Uh, I have a lot of worries. That's not one of them. <laughs> I'm really excited about being the chairman of the Judiciary Committee at a time I can help shepherd a qualified nominee through the process. The reason we run for office and do all the things we do is for these moments. This is the Super Bowl of sort of what a chairman would do. I'm just excited about it. I think people in South Carolina are enthusiastic about conservative judges being on the Supreme Court. And we'll soon know in South Carolina uh, how this plays out. But I'm not worried about how it affects me. I'm just excited about how it affects the country. I think it will affect the country over a long period of time in a very positive way. And I'm confident that people in South Carolina are going to see Judge Barrett as exactly the right person at the right time. And what do you say to Democrats who don't want to participate in the kind of meeting that you're having right now? They say that this process is illegitimate. You know, it, it, they're missing a great opportunity to talk to somebody and find out more about them. Uh, the hearing will be uh, challenging. I'm committed to making sure my Democratic colleagues have a couple of days to question, like we always do, have an opening statement, and we have outside input. So we're going to have a full uh, challenging, but I think fair and respectful hearing. And it's up to every senator as to what they will or will not do. What will I do? I will process this nomination consistent with the rules of the committee and uh, look forward to, to the coming days here. It's going to be a lot of fun. And to the American people, this is a chance to sort of see how the system works, you know, what the role of the Senate plays and, you know, how a judge interacts with the law. And I think it's just an exciting opportunity, particularly for young women. To see, uh, to see somebody like Judge Barrett move up the ladder, so to speak. Thank you all. Thank you. 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 Thank you